1989 Austin Metro here. This is the 998cc four-speed manual car in white. Showing, I'm going to get exact mileage for you here, guys. Showing 31,439 miles. 31,000 miles from new, this one. Right, body work wise, we're going to start off with the bonnet, work our way around the car, into the interior, and then we'll do a start up. Straight into the scuttle here. No corrosion underneath the screen on the scuttle at all. As you come across the scuttle, we've got a few little bits of sort of dullness in the paint here. You can just see that there, it's just picking it up there on the camera. We're going to do across the top of the windscreen. No stone chips or corrosion around there. And it's a sunroof model, this one as well. And you'll see we've got no corrosion at all around the sunroof. Back down the bonnet now. All lovely and straight and tidy across the front edge. You've got a little stone chip dent if you're really picky on it. But apart from that, lovely and sort of creamy white and very, very presentable, this one. Headlights are lovely and clear on both sides. We've got a stone chip down here, it's sort of been touched in. The grill itself, all the fins are there, there's no cracking, it's lovely and black, it's not faded at all. As we come down onto the bumper on the left hand side, a little bit of a scuff on the bumper. Lower valence here, you've got a few little bits, with it being white, they sort of look worse than they are. A few little bits, just starting on the corner of the valence there. Across the rest of the valence is all nice and straight. Onto the right hand side again. Nice and tidy down here. A little bit of a sort of crack in the paint there on the right hand side. The bumper corner as well. A little bit of a scuff there, but not really noticeable at all. As we come up the driver's wing, you've got a few more little touch-ins of some stone chips. Well, it is from 1989, this car. As you come down the driver's wing, again, you've got a few little sort of bits, sort of dirt in the paint, really, on the wing there itself. The rest of the arch looks to be nice and straight no corrosion on the outside of the arch that i can see a few little bits of stone chips down the bottom half and a little bit just starting on the bottom there as you come across the bottom of the driver's door you've got a little bit starting about the driver's door you can see that sort of surface rust there just starting to bubble through but the door's nice and straight with it being white you've got a few marks that you do notice little sort of where doors have been opened and a few little stone chips on the door itself but again Sway lines are all good, the body lines are nice and straight on the door and on the quarter. Sits lovely and level this one. The rest of the roof, very, very presentable. Nice and shiny and again a few little dirty marks in the roof itself. But nothing a good polish, it's going to fix most of those I would think. Across the tops of the doors, nice and straight. No major scratching around the petrol cap at all, the sills have a lot of those there. Across the bottom half of the right hand side. All the hubcaps are there as well. Onto the rear arch now. Again, you've got a few little bits at the bottom of the corner of the valance there, and a few little marks on the arch itself there. As you come around the arch, around where the fuel cap is, we'll have a bit look there. You can see a little bit starting just there. But overall, nice and presentable this one. As we come round onto the tailgate, the lights are lovely and clear, there's no cracking on the light. There, bumper corner is all nice on the right hand side. The bumper's nice and straight across the back and onto the left hand side. As we come around the boot lid, we've got a few little marks on the boot lid itself. I'll open it up there so you can have a look at that. So marks in the paint again. Some scratching around the lock. And a few little marks again in the paintwork there. But like I say, it does want a good old cleanness, good old polish. A lot of those scratches will look a lot better because it's sort of dirt engraved in the scratching. We'll do the, the rear valance now so you can have a good look at that. And then on the left hand side, got a bit of a bleb on the bottom of the valance there. We're on the left hand side now. As we come around the arch, again a little bit at the front here. Rest of that quarter. Very, very presentable and straight, nice and shiny. And we've got a little bit start at the back of the rear window there. So come round the top of the doors again, no problems there at all. Down that rear quarter onto the door, sit on this side. 
have a good look at that there. It's hard to tell when it's black like that. Bottoms of doors on this side are good. Nice and straight and clean, no corrosion coming through there. A few little stone chips on the bottoms of the doors, but that's about all. We'll have another good look at that here. Coming across the bottom, this is the passenger door. Where it meets the wing. All the gaps are good as well. Again, sits lovely and level. As we come down the front left hand wing, wing top's all good. The arch itself, a few little tiny little blisters there. As we come around onto a little bit of a mark there on the wing, down the bottom half again. Lovely and straight and presentable on both sides, that one. Into the interior now. Grey patterned cloth, rear seats, no rips or tears. Door cards are nice and clean. No problems with that back seat there. Headlining, lovely and clean as well. No damp patches around the sunroof. The seat itself, the swab itself, all nice and tidy. A little bit of a nick on the vinyl here on the side. You can see that just on the side there. Bottom half is good. They got a tiny little nick there. The seat swab itself, got no issues at all with that. Not showing much wear, really. Dashboard's lovely and clean. No cracks in the dashboard. All nice and original in there. Dials are easy to read. No problems with that there. I'll show you the mileage. So that's 31,439 miles there. The rest of the interior is lovely and tidy. You've got the original rubber metro mats, protecting the carpet over the years. Door cards are nice and tidy as well. They're not hanging off anywhere. Want a little bit of a clean, but that is all. Came to the boot now. Nice big boot for a little car. All nice and tidy in there. Boot floor, you've got a spare wheel. You've got your wheel brace and all the foam still there. Have a look at the back there. Again, all these plastics are unmarked on both sides. A little bit of a crack there on that one. Show you the back of that tailgate as well. All nice and white in there. Into the left hand side. Again, door card, very presentable. No problems at all with door card, not hanging off anywhere. It's not missing clips or anything like that. Dashboard again, no cracks on the dash. On the left hand side, you can see those original rubber mats. Onto the seat showing minimal wear. We've got a little bit of a sort of sink in the cloth there, but that's all gone now. It's nice and tight, lovely and firm as well when you push down on it. No nicks on this side at all, that seat. Has had very, very little use in its life, that's for sure. Shows the whole car, really. Again, from the left hand side, the rear seats are lovely. So is the headlining. On to the engine now, that little 998 CC. Inner wings, all individual. James is going to fire it up there for us. Firing straight up there, it's no issues at all. A little bit of choke on a cold start up. No problems at all with that. And there you have it. The little Austin Metro in white, 998cc, four-speed manual.